Go check out FIFACoinTrader.com for excellent deals in buying and selling coins on FIFA Ultimate Team. Hey guys, Cody Bo3 here and welcome to episode 9 of Shooting for Stars. And let's get straight into it and jump into online seasons to play our first match of this episode. Now we do have our full 3 star team complete. So I'm happy to have reached, uh, I suppose, that milestone in this series. Anyways, the first uh, guy I come up against has a very poor team. He's only got, uh, you'll see there, 58 chemistry. Uh, and yeah, a lot of random players in there. He's got quite a few... A League One, French League One players. But anyways, the first chance does go to me. You'll see there, it bobbles around in the box and then a massive mistake by his defenders. And at that point, I thought it was offside because no one had celebrated. And I only realized afterwards that it was a goal when that happened. That was very uh, bizarre, I suppose. Not celebration, but the way in which uh, I found out that I had scored that goal. Anyways, I did grab a second through a Lewandowski. And there was actually so many goals in this episode. Uh, a crazy man. I think it was... It was over 20 anyways in the three games or at least I think it was over 20 it was somewhere in around that mark so uh, I could only really include the goals because if I included highlights and everything we'd be sitting here for about 20-25 minutes anyways uh, the score was 3-1 he did get a chance and I had to get sweaty because I still got that win streak going and just let you know, know guys I have uh, decided what I'm going to do in terms of the win streak uh, basically I'm going to start the win streak again so if I win 15 games in a row it's going to work the same as if I had won 5 games in a row so I'll be able to upgrade an extra 2 players and the same with if I win 20 games in a row, which I don't know if it's that likely. But if I do, uh, I upgrade an extra three players. Uh, so, yeah, it's just basically uh, the streak is getting uh, restarted. And as you see here, I am 5-2 uh, up. And look at that for a tasty, tasty chip by Darman. I love playing with Darman. He's such a good player. But uh, that's how the game finished 6-2. So that meant we can upgrade one more player. And our streak is now, well, our win streak is up to 11 wins. So we uh, no longer have our three-star team. We buy our first four-star skiller. And that is Fernando Torres. So happy to get him into the team. And a big thank you to everyone who uh, suggested teams. And uh, basically what I've done is I took... Uh, a lot of people's suggestions, I got a lot of teams sent in to me and I took a, I took a, f a few different ones and that's how I molded the team. So thank you to every single person who uh, submitted a squad to me for this uh, because it did help because it kind of helped me mold uh, what team I went for in the end. So a big thank you to you guys for that. So he is our first four star skiller and he is uh, well he was amazing in FIFA 12 and I think he is actually a uh, pretty good in FIFA 13 I'm really enjoying playing with him anyways into the second game the guy's got the PSG jerseys and the PSG kit does he have the PSG team no he does not he is a Premier League team you'll see there he does have the main man Torres up front he's got Jared and Mata sitting in just behind and in cam and also uh, David Silva in at CF uh, Parker and Czech Teote a pretty uh, decent team there but I do end up taking the lead with the deaf of touch by Darren Bent to score that goal 1-0 and things went from bad to worse for my opponent with none other than Bent on the half volley the keeper stood absolutely no chance 2-0 up after 12 minutes and this was just an onslaught domination demolition job I just put so many words together there again there Darren Bent with another goal he completes his hat-trick he is just amazing I mean you could pick him up for about 1500 coins probably even less and he's just phenomenal one of the best strikers I've played with in the game he's so overpowered and everyone does say it about him oh Darren Bent's so OP but he actually is he's just incredible look at that for a finish though by Wilshire and that's how this game ended 5-0 Darren Bent got four and Wilshire got the other anyways uh, that means we can upgrade another player you see there we're on 12 points in division two and the next player we do get is Jesus Navas we pick him up for 3,800 coins he is our second four star skiller and that does mean as well that our win streak is up to 12 wins so only three off being up able to upgrade an extra two players in the team up by one star anyways you see there uh, the stats that he has three star weak foot four star skills he does have that pace look at that 92 pace his passing is uh, pretty good as well 80 and also his dribbling is 86 he's also got a very very good crosses and overall a very good player definitely uh, needed him in my team anyways into the last game of the episode and we come up against a guy with a lot of dead links in his team he's got Balotelli and Cavani up front with Boateng sitting in just behind pretty uh, average back line a couple of decent players in there but overall uh, I think I should be able uh, to do well against this guy due to the fact that uh, he's not big on his 
whole uh, chemistry concept. Anyways, uh, the lead does go to me through Darren Bench, uh, makes it 1-0. And uh, yeah, I'm really on a roll uh, in this series in terms of uh, winning games. Uh, I'm just doing just doing really well. Like, you know, uh, I'm on a 12-game win streak up to this game, and I seem to be winning games quite comfortably uh, by uh, big score lines. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm quite enjoying uh, playing on this account and playing with these teams because I always seem to be doing well. Anyways, score 3-0 there. You'll see I had to use a bit of Fernando Torres' uh, four-star skills there with the Burba spin because that's what makes this series what it is, uh, actually using the skills. I'm not the best skiller. Everyone knows that. Uh, I have uh, done a journey to try to become the ultimate FIFA skiller. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm not the greatest, but I do try to use them whenever I can and try to use the ones that I do know. Anyways, you see here, look at this. Hey, just an absolute mess in the box and he ends up scoring with Boateng that should have really been cleared very very sloppy goal to concede but in the 90th minute kicks it out to Torres Torres crosses it in and it's Darren Bent ahead at the back post to make it 6-1 I thought that was it game's gonna end 6-1 but there was time for one more chance you see here Jarvis dancing around his defenders I don't know how one of his defenders didn't win the ball there and he pounds it home to make it 7-1. And that was actually how the game ended 7-1. Darren Bent again with four more goals. Such an absolute machine. And you'll see the stats there. And also, I am now up to 15 points. Only two points off getting promoted into Division 1. And you'll see there, we do add the last player of the episode to our team. And it is David Silva, who plays with Man City. He's another uh, Spanish uh, player in there. So three Spanish players for this episode, just to complete that little quartet up there so very very happy uh, with how the team looks now you'll see his stats there two star weak foot four star skills picked him up for a 40k which isn't too bad in cm and you'll see his stats there but that is uh, pretty much it for this episode guys i do hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like it is always appreciated and hey if this reaches a thousand likes i'll release uh, the next episode in two days time so that is pretty much it for me, I will see you guys all next time.